I will not be making my own comments in this video. We want to listen to this just as a reminder. So take a listen at this video because I found this video to be very, very informative from Abilal Hassad. My Ummah, when their prayers are not prayed correctly and when high buildings spread in every place, when people swear in the name of Allah a lot about everything without fulfilling their oath, people curse each other a lot. Bribery and adultery prevails. People neglect the hereafter in order to buy the luxuries of this world in exchange for the hereafter. All these hadiths can be found in Sahih Muslim and Bukhari, Tirmidhi, Abu Dawood. These are called the six books of hadith, Numajah and Nisa'i. Our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us, the Romans will be the largest in number and power and influence. Okay. This is a hadith from the Prophet you find it in Sahih Muslim, that the Romans, the Romans in those days used to call them a room. A room basically the Europeans of today. Our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us before the end of time, you will see this prevailing sign, trials, tests wanna, um, of hardship. I want to say something real quick. When uh, the prophecy says that uh, the Romans will be huge in number, uh, it is true because uh, there is a hadith that indicates that the uh, Romans who are not Muslim, they would come to the Muslim and they will ask to hand them over their brothers, uh, the Romans who converted to Islam. So the Romans will tell the Muslim, the non-Muslim Romans will tell the Muslim, give us back those uh, people who converted to your religion. Then the Muslim will respond and say, no, we will not because they are now our brothers. So number of Romans, yes, it is huge. Right now, as we speak, dear my sister, somewhere, some, you know, place on earth there is one person taking shahada and this is so true so true afflictions that are like smoke filling the air darkness with dark clouds above you and it will weaken the heart of a person just like his body weakens in the morning he is a believer and by the evening he becomes a disbeliever and in the evening he is a believer and by the morning he is a disbeliever so much fitan so confusion true. deception lies a person in the evening is a believer by the morning they went on the internet and it confused everything about their religion to the point where they become atheists they become something other than their own religion we live in this time today okay so before i play the video one thing i want to point out though is that the reason atheism is on the rise most of the time it is because people believe th uh, today that they can figure out any problem how to find a solution they are so advanced that nothing really matters to humanity if we even have an asteroid coming our way the way they uh, the, the attitude of these uh, people uh, non-muslim and even for muslim is that we can defend ourselves from any calamity any problem any disaster uh, that is really what is be, be, is behind this uh, atheism, the driving force behind atheism. And wallahi, I mean, it is being mentioned in the Quran many, many times. People, they, when they have a problem solved, even though the solution came from Allah, but they said, uh, innama utitu, uh, uh, innama, sorry, the, innama utitu, uh, min This uh, ilm was given to me means it, it is something I have acquired. It is not because of God who helped us uh, finding the solution and this is the Quran this is Quran talking about our nature so a lot of the time there is an atheist they are so confident in their belief that there is no God is because they believe that they can solve their own problem why we need God Salam told us you will have a, before the end of time a immatum mudillun you will have leaders who will lead you astray Ar Rasul Sallallahu said a time shall come when a person is given insight in the daytime. So he's very aware. He can tell you so many things about everything of the world. But in the evening he commits every sin under the sun, takes bribes, become dishonest, etc, etc, etc. People are very good in front of people. But when you are alone in secret, they break every sin under the sun. As though Allah is not watching them. This is hypocrisy. That is, that is and we live in a true. world of hypocrisy. He said, so the last true. hour will not come until you find yourself that if you were among 20 young men more or less and you check their faces you look at them all and you are a believer you're a good believer and you looked at you know a number of 20 or more or less and found out that none of them fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
then it is time for the hour. And he said, when there will be more evil people, persons than the good ones, to the point when, listen to this, when the believers will hide themselves, too ashamed or too embarrassed or too scared to show themselves that they are believers, just like the way Rasul said, just like the way hypocrites today hide themselves, hypocrites. Wallahi, as a teacher, I see this among the students all the time, among the youth. At home, they're one thing. In the masjid, Allahu Akbar. But at school, with their friends, when they're out, totally different people, totally different. See, sisters, depends on who they're sitting with. Subhanallah, suddenly their language changes. From Subhanallah, to talking about other people, to bagging other people to cursing other people. Yeah. But Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi said, the believers begin to feel shy to show that they're believers. They're too afraid. They don't want to get up and feel proud of it. Al Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam now said, Al Mahdi, the awaited Mahdi who will lead the Ummah of Islam. You all know who I'm talking about. There is a man called Al- who is anointed Al Mahdi. His name is Muhammad son of Abdullah will come out and he will lead the Muslim Ummah of the world into justice. And he will fight the army of who the Prophet ﷺ called the army of someone called the Dajjal, the deceiver, the liar. And he will fill the Arab world, in other words, the Muslim world. He will fill it with justice just as it was filled with oppression. For Rasul ﷺ tells us, I want you to listen to this beautiful hadith, which is in Bukhari and Muslim. What will you do when, when Iraq is denied its currency? What will be your state and what will you do when a sham, okay. when its currency is denied? Okay, uh, one brother, he asked me a question about this uh, currency of Egypt uh, that will be denied. And um, I was actually supposed to be making a video about this. But uh, let me tell you this thing about Egypt's currency, how it will fall uh, in very brief, very maybe in one line. The currency of Egypt will not fall like the currency fell for Iraq and Syria. Okay, Asham. It will be a spectacular fall. The Egyptian currency, uh, the way it will, f- will fall uh, it will be uh, such a shock and uh, un- uh, you know um, settling for so many people that they never expected this was coming so again egypt's currency will fall in a spectacular way what will you do when egypt its currency will be denied and you return to where you began in the first place what does this mean when iraq is denied its currency when a country falls its currency falls as well doesn't it and you no longer deal with its currency. Another currency replaces it. Al Rasul Sallallahu or the narrator of this hadith, the Rasul Sallallahu was asked, how will it fall? And he said, by foreign intervention. Foreign intervention. Al Ajam. Then, after that, he placed it in sequence. A sham's currency will be denied. So a sham as a nation will fall. Again, Another currency will replace soon, and it has to be by a foreign intervention. Then Rasul Sallallahu said, after Asham, he mentioned Misr, Egypt. You think it's over for Egypt right now? According to this hadith, which is in Bukhari and Muslim, something else is coming up. Yeah. When a currency of a nation falls, it means that the country itself falls, and there is an yeah. invasion, as Rasul Sallallahu mentioned over here. It's not happened to Egypt yet, but this is, seems like the sequence that Rasul Sallallahu is informing us about it. He also said in another narration, this hadith by Abu Huraira, the Romans or the non-Muslims who used to exist at the time of Islam, when Islam ruled for more than a thousand years, they were non-Muslims who lived in, in the lands of Islam and they were called Dhummis, meaning the ones who are entrusted to us. They lived in our lands and we gave them the right to live in peace and they had to pay something in return for our protection of them. But not the Muslims, Muslims pay zakat, they had to pay this thing called jizya which means that will protect you, provide you. Today they say tax, we call it jizya, for the non-Muslims who live among us, only this is a type of agreement. When this, he said, the people who used to do this before, they will no longer do it anymore, meaning they will be overpowering you. And yeah. these are the types of people who will invade you. Now this is, these are the facts, and we see it today. What has wow. happened to Iraq is not something that anyone can deny. And what is now happening in a sham is both both intervention within and outside yeah and it is yet to come a sham however is totally different to the rest of the world it is different to iraq it is different to egypt it is different to everything a sham means lebanon syria parts of jordan palestine 
they call it today Israel, call Israeli territories are in there. Palestine and parts of Turkey. This was a sham. Al Rasul Sallallahu said, You will also get into a war with the Jews. This type of war that we are in is not like any war you've ever seen. So, uh, the uh, war with the, the Yahoo, the Jews, uh, inshallah, this is something I will uh, talk separately in a separate video. But uh, this video I really want to make uh, because this is a very good informative video and a reminder, a great reminder for all of us. If you are someone interested in this kind of topic and of time and uh, the Mahadi, the Jali Ajwa Jal Majis, consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.